888-528-5263. Sean in Minnesota is on the poll. Hello, Sean. Good afternoon, Dave. Talladega, Daytona. Take the restrictor plates off and let them fly. Why? Because I really want to see what these cars will do without fans in the stands. There is no reason not to try it at this point. Learn to harness the power. When they start taking off, when they start taking off in the air, find out what you need to do to keep them down. They have. They have found that. They found that out uh, about a decade and a half ago, and it's slow the cars down. Right. There's a problem. Learn to harness the power that you have. Uh If they're going to fly, learn to control them in the air to get them back down. Control them in uh, you okay, you're perilously close to becoming the kissing cousin of ejector seat Eddie here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and try and figure out what you really mean here. So you're saying let's go two hundred and fifty miles an hour and let the cars fly through the air and then develop some kind of a system to lower them gently back to the ground? Is that what you're telling me? Flying cars. It is a technology that is coming close. You didn't answer my question. I did so. I told oh. you what the solution was. What is the solution? What is the solution to flying cars? When they start, when they start coming off the ground, uh-huh. you learn how to control it in the air. Uh, we're, we're right back where we just started. We know how to control them, and it's slowing them down. Once they're No, shot, you learn to control shot. them in the air, Dave. You fly okay. them. How? How are you going to control them in the air? Is there going to be a parachute that pops out? What's going to happen? Ailerons. Ailerons. What the hell are ailerons? Things that are on airplanes. Oh, so you, so you want Ryan Newman to hurtle up into the air, reach over and grab his his I, his, his 747 joystick and just fly off to Hoboken? Is what you're saying? No, it's already on the it's already on the steering wheel where the thing takes off. He learns to control it in the air like an airplane. <laughs> Sean, if I didn't know you so well, I would swear that you were screwing with me right now and and just just being crazy. But you really mean this, don't you? Dave, the technology of flying cars is out there. (laughs) Learn how NASCAR can do this. Oh, God. Uh, Ejector hey, seat, Eddie. Years. If you're out there, give us a call. We're gonna we're gonna send you and Sean out on a dinner date together. It'll be awesome. Look, I, I love, right now I am talking to Ryan Newman. Figure out how to harness this power, Ryan. Uh-huh. You're the engineer. You went to school for this stuff. Yeah, he he's also the guy that almost died a few weeks ago because cars yes. fly because of a car flying off because the ground. Because he couldn't control. Because he didn't control oh, it. God. I'm talking about actually controlling it in the air. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, Sean, thank you very much. That's uh, I mean, you can't make this up. You cannot make this stuff up. Well, e- ejector seat Eddie is now out of business. We don't need the ejector seat anymore. Because when your car goes turns backwards at 250 miles an hour, which they'll be doing without the plates, all you have to do now is press the fly button. And the wings go ka-chunk and come out of your car with the, what are they, Ailer, ailerons. Your wings with the ailerons come out, and you just you, you just bank a little to the left, you bank a little to the right. You pull back on the stick, you get up to about 20,000 feet, and you just fall in with the flyby for next week's race. That's awesome. All of a sudden, you're an Air Force Thunderbird. Goodbye, Ryan Newman. See you at next week's flyover. 866 Pit Lane. <laughs>